Hello, welcome to another video by Mox Marine. In this video, I am showing a brand new or a rebuilt 4.3 V6 uh, engine. And um, in a previous video, I discussed the anatomy of a valve lifter. And so what I'm doing now is to make sure that all these lifters pump up and stay pumped up. And so um, right now, I've got the engine at the top dead center number one cylinder, which is the cylinder right here. And you notice if I push down, let me back up. So these these lifters are not adjustable. You tighten each of these. These these are roller lifters, by the way. Well, like some people say they're not rollers, but they have a roller fulcrum here, uh, ball bearing or not not ball bearing, needle bearing. So they have a needle bearing fulcrum, and you tighten this to 18 foot pounds, and there's no adjusting. There's no adjusting these uh, the the lash on these rockers. So, um, but I, what I've done is I've cleaned all 12 of these. I had to get the old oil and water mix out of them, and uh, now they're completely empty. And to make sure they pump up and don't fail, I want to make sure that uh, I want to run through a cycle and, and pump them up. So what I'm doing is right now you can see the preload. If you listen or watch carefully, you can get this port wrench out of the way. So if I push down, you can see I'm pushing on the spring. There's a spring inside the lifter, and I'm compressing that spring. But that's this is a lifter's preloading. The fact that it springs back means it's got a preload to it. So that's number one. So what I'm doing is I'm going through the firing order. So I do one, the firing order is one, six, five, four, three, two. So I'm checking one, then I'll check six, and then I'll check five, and then four, then three, two. And just to let you know I've already done that, and all of them checked out. So all of them have approximately the same amount of preload, which basically means the lifter is empty, it has no oil in it. And so what I'm gonna do is try to pump them up. Um, so that's what, I, uh, so right now I'm at the stage where I've got about three quarts of oil in this motor. I've already poured oil inside this valley. I have not put the intake manifold on because if I do have a bad lifter, I want to be able to get to it and replace it. And uh, the reason I have these, these lifters are suspect is because they were full of crud and uh, about half of them were stuck. Um, and I discussed that in the other video about anatomy of a valve lifter, but um, they were stuck. So I'm verifying that they are, have been repaired and they will pump up and stay pumped up. So like I said, I've got three quarts of oil in this engine. I'm about to put my uh, oil priming tool in there. You don't have to have the intake on here to use that. And so I'm gonna use the oil priming tool to pump oil through this engine. And then uh, hopefully it'll prime each, uh, each lifter. And I can go through the process again, going through one, six, five, four, three, two, and see that they're not, they're no longer, if they're pumped up, you should no longer do a thing. So I've used this oil priming tool and I uh, was turning the uh, pump and, uh, or turning the drill and priming the pump. And uh, so I built up oil pressure, and now I'm back on number one top dead center. And I can move it in just a little bit, but not nowhere near as much as it had before. It just barely moves. And that's number one. And uh, I've already gone through and checked them all, and they're all about the same. So it moves down a little bit. I'm just gonna assume that's just cause it, it's bled, that's what's bled down since it uh, since I stopped pumping about uh, five minutes ago. So um, these are, all these uh, lifters pumped up. And, uh, I have confidence now that I go ahead and finish putting this in together and they're all good. So uh, again, if you want to uh, learn more about valve lifters, uh, hydraulic lifters, uh, watch my video called uh, Anatomy, of a, Anatomy of a Hydraulic Valve Lifter. So these valves are all, uh, these lifters are all good and I'm now going to finish assembling this engine. Thanks for watching.